on WGN Evening News at 6. Today, getting a snapshot of how public schools are doing in Illinois. State releasing the annual report assessing the performance of schools and students. WGN Shannon Halligan is here with more on that. Shannon. The report card is in, and after two years of setbacks due to the pandemic, there were some passing and failing grades. You know, to say that these last two and a half years have been difficult for our teachers and our students would be an understatement. Governor J.B. Pritzker uh, spoke to students at Morton West High School in Berwyn. This came following the release of the Illinois State Board of Education Illinois Report Card for the 2021-2022 school year. Governor Pritzker applauded the achievements and acknowledged setbacks schools faced. One could argue it's a miracle that our state and our nation uh, has seen academic advances in any way, especially the state of Illinois, uh, in the face of this adversity. Uh, yet it's not a miracle at all. It's testament to the hard work and dedication of the teachers, students, and parents throughout Illinois who rose to the challenge of these unprecedented times. The report showed high school students saw their highest graduation rates in a decade. However, schools across the state showed many challenges, like enrollment, absenteeism, and a greater need for mental and social emotional wellness. Uh, more troubling for me is the fact that we had gaps even prior to this pandemic, and we saw the gaps widen. Chicago Public Schools CEO Pedro Martinez said student performance is down and opportunity gaps have widened. It's about excellence and program because, again, even though I see excellent programs across the district, it's not consistent. And then when I ask you, I ask parents, what is the standard of excellence? I don't necessarily get the same answers. Sometimes I get the answer, I don't know. And so for us, that has to be crystal clear. The Chicago Teachers Union issued a statement following the results. In it, they said the report shows students need fully funded schools, but also pointed to the need to update assessment methods, saying in part, rather than pouring additional millions into the standardized testing industrial complex, ISBE should invest in helping educators develop authentic, culturally relevant assessments that are tied to daily instruction that provide opportunities for students to apply skills and demonstrate academic proficiency in a variety of ways. And for a link to the report card with the statistics of all districts in the state, we have that up on our website at WGNTV.com. Ryan Micah. Thank you, Shannon. Autopsy show the